Van here with Studio on the Lake. Uh, hey, Happy New Year, everybody. Hey, this is a second in the Extraordinary Woodcarvers uh, format. This is uh, from 2nd January. This guy is uh, Riemann, or Tillman Riemann Schneider. In uh, 1460 to 1531, you can figure that out. Uh, he was in Germany. I've actually seen uh, his work because I lived uh, near Würzburg there and uh, he's in several of the churches over in Rotenburg and that sort of thing. I've talked before, Lime, Limewood as that said there, is pronounced in German uh, Lime. It is uh, uh, similar to basswood, it's the same relative species. So many of these are uh, life-sized carvings and uh, they're carved out of a full trunk of tree and some of them are, are, are not, uh, they're little sections. But uh, the tree ones are kind of neat because the, the character will be there and you can walk around the altar behind these and you look at them in person and you can see the back of them where they hollowed them out so they wouldn't crack. And keep in mind that these were carved in the 1500s. So uh, they're what, 500 years old? Give or take, doing some math. A wonderful carving, he uh, very prolific over the years. Uh, mostly religious figures. If you go down and around Oberammergau, uh, a lot of his work has been copied, Oberammergau being in the southern part of Germany, and it's a carver's place. It's also familiar, uh, for, uh, famous for the uh, Passion Play, which they do every 10 years. All the people of the town uh, take a part in uh, uh, the Passion Play. Uh, and, and it's a religious sort of thing, but they carve religious figures and they use a lot of uh, Tillman stuff uh, to do that. You can see the three panels in the middle there. This is the most spectacular. This is in Rothenburg uh, at one of their churches there. You can pay a couple of, uh, I was going to date myself and say marks, but euros now and get in and uh, you can walk right up and look at those in person. So uh, here's our carver of the history, or historical carver. Uh, last month we did uh, Grinling Gibbons. Uh, look at the hair on that there. So Tillman Riemann Schneider in Deutsch, ja. So uh, fantastic from the past. So now our featured carver. This is kind of neat here. I'm going to let him uh, talk for himself. And uh, he's got a big announcement, so give Kyle some support. But here's Kyle. And I've got some, well, big news to share with everybody. I'm not going to be on here super long, um, but I just wanted to uh, get on and tell everyone so that I could PA not far from me as I'm in New York. Just wanted to uh, get on and share some news with everyone. Um, going to be making some big changes uh, for myself some big changes for the family moving forward and those changes uh <laughs> are going to include hopefully more and if not better youtube videos but the biggest thing is is i am leaving my day job i've put in my notice the 19th will be my last day there and i'm going to pursue uh building rustic furniture and chainsaw carving um, it's kind of a big leap. Uh, I've been working at this place for just about actually 13 years, going on 14 years. It's been a blessing. It's provided for my family. It's uh, been, you know, every, everything that a, a well paying job could be, uh, you know, providing and, and all that good stuff. I, uh, I have decided. Well, not just myself. I would say long conversations and honestly prayer with my wife on the whole thing. Um, so there you go. The best of luck to Kyle. He's doing what the rest of us want to do. And uh, keep in mind, uh, he could use a little support. He's got uh, quite a few subscribers, but we won't hold that against him. And that uh, lets him go over. So go over and give him some support. And just remember that uh, for uh, coming up and next will be uh, Ben's picks on this. But, uh, but my rules, remember, uh, kindergarten rules basically and i spelled kindergarten wrong last time you need to be kind to uh, your subscribers and other folks you need to teach have a teaching element and uh, you need to promote other woodworkers well kyle hall meets all those criteria uh in there is uh, in, in his great uh, videos and so check him out so here's my picks this one came from anna thanks anna uh ron uh is doing all hand tools he hasn't posted for about eight months, so I hope he's in there. But look, he needs some help with some subscribers there. He's been posting for a couple of years. 
He's using hand tools and doing great stuff. Now, Vlad Carving doesn't need our help, but uh, he's in there and just some wonderful, wonderful work. Uh, you should go over and, and check those out in, uh, in Ben's picks. Well, now we got uh, our first lady in here, Jenna. Jenna is doing some neat stuff with the chainsaw. She's a chainsaw carver. Her bears are uh, a little on the cute side, and uh, if that's what you're into, that's great. Uh, but she's doing a nice job of teaching, so give Jenna some support. Uh, here's someone who could really use our support, too. Michelle, I'm going to mispronounce her name, Thevranot. Uh, and her artwork is just awesome. Go check her channel out. Uh, give it a subscribe. She's uh, doing a lot of neat, neat work in there. So the... That having been said, here's the regular folks. So you got all of it. Obviously, we got to go look at Jordy over there. These are just the guys that uh, hang out and cause trouble. And that's just Carve Rob. Uh, everybody knows if you follow my channels that uh, Jordy and Rob and I. And you got Ryan Cook over there. Ryan's going great places. Uh, Ryan's even starting to do shout outs. Uncle Kevin Carves, uh, he's a twin to ryan there and then obviously everybody needs to go look at mike at stand and sticks so hey uh, that's it for this month like comment and subscribe on that and this ben ben was studio on the lake happy new year